Okay, so everyone, I was uh, browsing one of the local uh, Chineseium suppliers here. Uh, I was looking for a uh, fuse box here. And what should show up in my list of things I should check out, but this thing. Now, needless to say, I wasn't exactly sure what this, well, I knew what it was, but wasn't exactly sure what, like what in the world, that thing just looks dangerous. So, needless to say, I wanted it was added to my shopping cart so I could uh, check it out. And, uh, well, we got it here today. Apparently, this is used for cutting wood that's actually a wood carving disc so you basically put it on your angle grinder and i guess you can carve wood for it i don't know about you folks but this thing just looks wicked dangerous okay so let's see if i can extract this from the packaging here without uh cutting myself up too badly there we go pop that center cone out so we got some sort of protective film on this side. Wow, that seems like a little bit uh, overkill, just saying. Yeah, I've, I've never seen anything like this, everyone, to be honest. Uh, and uh, like I said, the first, thing I, first time I saw it, I was like, what in the world is that? Wow, it's like shiny on the back. And this is like, and this isn't that expensive, by the way. Okay, there we go. Got that all off of there. So let's see what we got here. There's, like I said, everyone, I'm not entirely sure what to make of this here. I might have to, I'm not sure what these clips are about. That does not look good on there. I'm pretty sure those clips would have to come off, I would think. Because otherwise, as soon as you start the grinder, they're going to go flying off. Okay, so there is like some sort of... Oh, wait, okay, that's interesting. So we actually got two pieces here. I'm assuming once it's on the grinder and the, the clamping force of the grinder is what holds it together then? Okay, this is uh, learning here, everyone, learning. I don't think the box or the thing here really shows a whole lot. Yeah, just 22 link chain saw, circular, durable, stainless disc. Wow, really? Stainless? Wow. Use in any, oh, in any direction. So you could, oh, wait a minute. Angle grinders only go one direction as far as, I've never seen a double or an angle grinder that can go in reverse. Um, have I? I don't think so. Anti-kickback action. I suppose maybe because it's tightened down, it can spin if you get it like caught or something. That's kind of interesting. Okay, well, so I put the uh, clips back on here. I'm just gonna surmise that you probably wanna leave the clips on while installing it on your grinder. I'm just guessing that's the way that's gonna work. So let's uh, put this on here. Again, this just looks like a really bad. Now, this is supposed to be four and a half inches. This does not look like four and a half inches. Oh, okay. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, it's four inch diameter for four and a half inch grinders. Or I guess it can be used. Oh, it can be used with four or four and a half. Okay. So you can use it with either four or four and a half inch grinders. Got the five eighth inch hole in it. Okay. Got that tightened. And then, like I said, I'm assuming you just take those clips off. And I think we're ready. Okay, well, I know I've said this already, but doesn't that just look wicked? I mean, it's basically a chainsaw blade mounted on a circular device that you can mount to an angle grinder. This, uh, this just does not look safe. Well, let's see if we can uh, not kill ourselves here. I've got a scrap piece of wood here clamped to the uh, workbench. We're gonna engage the uh, power here and uh, give it a spin. I think I'm gonna move that safety one notch so my hand isn't in any part of that. Well, let's, let's see what's what happens here. Okay, and just a couple of, just like real quick cuts later, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with this thing, but whoa, that uh, that makes a lot of mess in a real quick hurry. Uh, I didn't want to go too deep here because I don't want to cut into our workbench, but uh, once that thing grabs, it really cuts. I'm thinking maybe I should like overhang this the workbench here a minute, and uh, let's give that a try.
video because uh, I'm gonna have a mess to clean up here my goodness well everyone there you go I think that's gonna about uh, do it for this video here yes I definitely made a, uh, a fine mess here that is for sure uh, I kind of carved out this like little bowl shape here I guess that's kind of what this is intended for you can use your grinder uh, to cut wood carve wood and I guess it also works with uh, plastics what does it say? Plastics, uh, cut, carve, shape. I thought it said somewhere it works with plastics, wood, and something else. Uh, let's see once here. Cuts in, oh, hardwood, plastics, and other soft materials. So, yeah. Wood, plastics. I'm not sure how this would work with plastics, everyone. I, I think it'd be way too aggressive for most plastics. I just don't see that working. But, uh, yeah, it definitely works for wood. Uh, I guess once you get past the safety aspect of it, this thing does seem a little dangerous on a grinder there. You know, I, I guess uh, a chainsaw doesn't seem quite as dangerous to me for some reason, but uh, I guess technically that's about the same. So, yeah, if you folks want to check this out, it's the Warrior Wood Carving Disc. I imagine you could probably get this off of any uh, website out there. Uh, like I said, I was browsing one of the uh, Chinese websites, so, and I came across this. I don't know, is it, uh, oh, this is Harbor Freight. Oh yeah, okay, so this is actually, this actually did not, I did not get this from Harbor Freight, but uh, ah, Harbor Freight Tools. Okay, so everyone, yes, if you want to check that out, that is on Harbor Freight. I'm sure that's where you can get that from. Like I said, I've never seen a grinder attachment like that before. And yeah, that uh, that definitely looks, uh, looks dangerous. Anyway, everyone, I've got a big mess to clean up here. I'm going to get that uh, cleaned up. And uh, yeah, again, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. And until uh, next time.